Okay, this is a video on how to remove the Cyclops from various Invicta model watches. It also works with the Alpha. Uh, Alpha model watches, I'm sure it works with a lot of types because they're almost all adhe uh, adhered to the mineral, the crystal, uh, by this UV activated glue. Um, so heating this glue will allow it to, uh, will allow you to take off the Cyclops from the crystal and then we'll use um, just some solvent, some goof off, uh, to remove the residual uh, glue that's left on the crystal. Okay, so as you can see, there's a Cyclops, which is the date magnifier on this. Um, this is an Invicta 8928, um, and this is uh, an Invicta 8926 that I've already removed the Cyclops from. So as you can, this came with the Cyclops, just like this one has, and it's removed. So what you need is, um, razor blade like this one or you know one of the, the straight edge ones whatever it doesn't really matter just something that you can slide something that you can slide under the cyclops to get it off after we've heated it with this uh, you know jet flame lighter so I don't know if you can see that but it just produces like a blue flame um, so it's different than the normal uh, flame, so it's hotter, it's more concentrated also, so it's better for this sort of application where you're trying to heat a really specific point. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply the heat directly to um, directly to the Cyclops until a white puff appears kind of under the Cyclops. Now that's going to indicate that it's ready to come off, and that's happened on various watches that I've taken the Cyclops off of between uh, anywhere from 2 to 10 seconds. So. Uh, hopefully we'll pick it up on the video, um, and if not, you know, just know that to do it long enough so that you see a little puff under the Cyclops, and then you use the razor blade to go under it and just take it right off. It'll pop, it'll, it'll slide right off. You just use a razor blade or something like that because it, it's really hot. Okay. Here we go. Uh, turn the lighter on, and we'll flame the directly onto the Cyclops. Okay, and there it puffed up underneath, so now what we'll do is slide this right under and the Cyclops comes right off, as you can see, and there it is. Um, I'm not going to touch it because it's, it's, really, it's still really hot. So as you can see, it didn't take very long at all, and you'll, you might be able to see, I don't know if you can actually on, this, on the video, um, the residue here. Um, I'll make another video on how to get that off, but basically what, you'll, what I use is this Goof Off product, which is just a, a pretty hardcore solvent. Um, you know, it's made to remove like glue, well it says specifically glue, he says blah blah blah. So use that or something similar. Um, this can be found at you know any hardware store. Some people have also used like just rubbing alcohol. I find that I find that that didn't work though on most of them. All right, so that's it. That's how to remove the cyclops. So there you go. There's your there's the cyclops. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.